Good evening, everyone. I'm Michelle DeMarzo, the Curator of Education and Academic Engagement at the Fairfield University Art Museum. Thank you so much for joining us tonight for this special virtual workshop, the special opportunity to hear about the art of calligraphy with artist He Zhencheng, who's coming to us live from China, where it is the very early hour of 7 a.m. as opposed to our 7 p.m. Uh, he Zhencheng, or Jason, as you'll hear him also called this evening, is one of five Chinese artists whose work is currently on view in the exhibition Seeing is Believing, Crossings and Transpositions Part 2 in our Walsh Gallery. Presented together with a separate exhibition called Ink Stone, which also features contemporary Chinese art. These two exhibitions are a fantastic visual experience, and we really hope that you'll be able to come to Fairfield to experience them in person. We are free, we are open to the public, Tuesday through Saturday from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. And you can find more information about uh, the exhibitions on our website, fairfield.edu slash museum slash seeing is believing. And one of the things you'll be able to do on that exhibition website is scroll down, you'll find the exhibition brochure that you can flip through and you'll find a full 360 degree virtual tour of the exhibition. So if you'd like to drop in there and see Jason's artwork before he starts speaking this evening, you could do that. Once again, that URL is fairfield.edu slash museum slash seeing is believing. And on that same website, you will also find information about our programs, including coming up uh, most uh, closely in time tomorrow at 11 a.m. on the Quick Live, I'll be talking about another Chinese artist in Seeing is Believing, Luo Biwu, and one of his screen prints. So in addition to Jason, the people you'll be hearing from this evening are Joe Yarrington and Yu Mei Zhang. Uh, both of them participated in part one of Seeing is Believing, which took place in China in 2019. And I think Joe will talk a little bit more about that. I am going to briefly introduce Joe Yarrington and she'll be in turn introducing our two other um, participants. Joe Yarrington is professor of studio art in the Department of Visual and Performing Arts here at Fairfield. She's been in over 350 solo and group shows in the United States and abroad. She's been a recipient of numerous international grants and fellowships, including ones from the Pollock Krasner Foundation, the New York Foundation for the Arts, and the Museum of Glass Artist Residency. Professor Yarrington also represented the United States at the Sharjah Biennial in the United Arab Emirates, and was also a participant in the Berlin Biennial. In 2010, she won the Bronze Prize at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Skopje, Macedonia. She studied at Ohio State University, where she received her BAE, BFA, and MFA. And she currently lives and works in New York City. Joe, I will turn it over to you. Good evening, everyone. And thank you, Michelle, for your introduction. I want to start by welcoming you tonight to tonight's presentation, a virtual workshop on Chinese calligraphy with Hu Zhencheng, um, which uh, he's also titled Calligraphy and Me. Um, first, I'd like to introduce Yu Mei Zheng, who will be joining us as a guest participant for the question and answer um, section uh, toward the end of the talk. And she also is a translator for us when needed um, for tonight's virtual workshop. Uh, Yu Mei was born in Shanghai and studied printmaking and fine arts uh, for her undergraduate and graduate programs at the Central Fine Art Academy at Beijing, China. In 1989, she moved to the United States where she now teaches printmaking and fine arts at colleges and universities in the Connecticut area. Her work has been in international and national solo and group exhibitions and is in the collection of museums, galleries and private collectors in the United States, China, Canada, United Kingdom and Germany. Please be sure to join Yu Mei for her workshop on Chinese brush painting at 11 a.m. on February 16th in the Loyola 20 printmaking studio at Fairfield University. This is open to the public. The cap for the attendees is 30 and you must register for this event on Eventbrite. In this webinar, uh, and welcome you may, <laughs> I just wanted to extend my welcome. Thank you for joining us. Um, in this webinar, uh, artist Hu Jin Cheng, who is now who is an artist now being shown, uh, as Michelle mentioned, in the Walsh Gallery exhibition, Seen is Believing, Crossings and Transpo Transpositions, part two. Um, 
Uh, he will, in this presentation, will outline the historical evolution of Chinese calligraphy. Through the centuries long development of Chinese character, he will discuss how we can understand the progress of Chinese culture and art. The character is a symbolic system and is a tool for communication. Calligraphy has the Chinese character through the work of the artists who generation after generation have built upon its history has become a wonderful and unique art form, respected and honored worldwide for its evocative beauty. In his talk, he, Jin Cheng hopes to convey the aesthetics of Chinese calligraphy, and he also will demonstrate how his other artwork has been impacted by his inventive exploration of this practice and process. Born in 1957, Hu Jincheng graduated with an MFA from the uh, Guangzhou Academy of Fine Art since 1987. He's been a professor in the Department of Oil Painting in the Guangzhou Academy of Fine Arts and is currently director of the department's Studio One. Hu Jincheng is also a member of the China Artists Association. This event is being recorded and will be hosted on the Quick Center for the Arts website, thequicklive.com. Please be sure to send us your questions during the event using the chat box on your screen below the video feed. We will respond to those questions at the end of the presentation. There'll probably be about five to seven minutes for that as well. So I'm delighted to introduce uh, Yu Jen Cheng, uh, who will be telling us about calligraphy and how it's impacted his own contemporary work. Um, thank you. Hi, everyone. And, uh, first of all, I thank Joe and uh, Fairfield's uh, Art Museum and give me the opportunity to share my lectures and on the calligraphy and on my art. So uh, now let's uh, start my lecture. And the lecture, the, the name is Calligraphy uh, and Me. And, and the first of all, I introduce myself. Uh, uh, I was born in 1957 and then graduated from Oil Penny Department of Guangzhou Academy of Fine Arts. And I have a while uh, settled down in USA and from uh, 1988 to 2001. And later I went to the China for teaching in the Guangzhou Academy of Fine Arts. And now as uh, the director of Yangtze Guang Art. Okay. And this time uh, I want to share the uh, lectures on uh, calligraphy and uh, we can see uh, here the Chinese history is uh, uh, long, uh, about 5,000 years. Uh, we can see the pictures uh, from uh, 2700 uh, uh, BC and uh, to now, the character of Chinese uh, uh, changed uh, a lot. So, a, um, from oracle uh, on bronze and stone and tablets and the way style slave and regular and running inclusive has uh, changed a lot. And at the first uh, we uh, see these pictures, uh, we can see the Chinese uh, histories and from Sha. Uh, about 5,000 years ago. But uh, for the uh, calligraphers, uh, the very important periods, uh, I think is uh, uh, about 1,500 years uh, from three kingdoms, the 200 AD to uh, 1300, the main dynasty, yeah. And this period is very important uh, in the uh, calligraphy history. So according to the uh, dictionary, I think that over 50,000 uh, characters in China today, but uh, I think we have to use about only 
2,500 uh, characters only right now. So why is uh, the Chinese uh, characters are so difficult? So because uh, actually each character is uh, equal one painting. Okay. Uh, if you know the Chinese, uh, in other words, uh, we have to remember the uh, many, many pictures. So this doesn't like the, China, uh, the Western uh, characters, uh, like English, uh, only 26 uh, characters and, and change the combined uh, different uh, characters. So uh, in here we can uh, see these pictures, uh, the character, for example, the car. The car is uh, ev evolutions from painting to symbol. The first, uh, about a uh, few thousand years ago, and the car, the characters are only like a painting. It's the uh, same as the car. And then they change it uh, uh, more simple. And then, and simple. Uh, and another one, characters, uh, mountain, uh, it's the same. Um, also, the step by step uh, change a little bit, and then and today, yeah. So actually, the Chinese uh, characters uh, obviously starts from the slave character. Yeah, we can see the uh, the change uh, from here. Okay, about thirty six. Uh, 3,600 uh, years ago, uh, and that time, uh, the people is uh, no character and language uh, even. Uh, so they had to collect uh, something. It uh, depends on uh, a tie and knot uh, for, for the record. So how many hunting, how many days are they hunting the animals, uh, something like that. So, so they only used the, the knot. And later they uh, make a progress and uh, they have the uh, characters uh, begin a uh, start. So, and that time so we can uh, divide the four, uh, four kind of the uh, characters, uh, the body, animals, and nature, and uh, imprintment. So like a people, that's uh, absolutely like a, the, the people uh, and the female or son or something. And this, the night animals are horse, the tiger, dog, elephants or something. Yeah, for lectures, there's the sun, moon, and rain. So each character is uh, absolutely like a picture. Yeah, like a painting. And this. Uh, this is the uh, turtle share. Uh, this from discovers a very important in Chinese collective uh, history. Uh, in 1899, and someone has discovered uh, this because uh, on this turtle shares are uh, covering the characters. I think this is the earliest record of the characters. And then um, about in the uh, Xia uh, dynasty, uh, they invented the bronze and manufacturing. So that, at that time, uh, they call this a gold uh, because uh, this is a very good materials uh, in that time. Uh, so they covering the uh, characters on, on that. Uh, so we call this, uh, the Chinese say it's a Jing Wen, so that means the golden uh, characters, yeah. The very famous uh, a piece of the, uh, the bronze is uh, in uh, about Zhou Dynasty. 
Yes. Uh, in, because of this one, I, I think there's a cooker or something like that. And uh, the name is called Mao Gong Ding. Uh, this one is so very important. So recorded uh, the characters of, of John. The contained the the characters like this. Uh, at the side, I have the translation uh, in uh, modern uh, characters. Uh, but this is very important in 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 the uh, character history. Yeah. And another one and. Uh, and later they, they found another one is a very important uh, of the big show screen. Uh, I, I think uh, this one is uh, at that time as um, the characters still like the paintings. Uh, but now as uh, uh, we change, of course uh, we, we change a, a lot. And we go to the Qing Dynasty. Uh, that's a very important uh, period uh, for the character changing. Right. Um, before Qing Dynasty, there were seven uh, states fighting each other in China, and then uh, Emperor Qing Shi Huang, and later he unified the whole countries. Uh, at the, at that time, as uh, he you also he. Uh, unify the Chinese uh, language and characters and uh, uh, include the uh, standard of the measurements. So uh, on the Qing, Qing Shi Wang is the most important uh, empire in Chinese history. Uh, but they're very important and for the characters, uh, the calligraphy is very important is, uh, in the Qing dynasty. Uh, Qing Shi Huang is an order and one officer, that means uh, Li Xi, and that guy is uh, uh, from him is uh, unified the Chinese territory uh, from the seven states because uh, at that time uh, all the countries, uh, the characters are uh, much different. So, he must to unify, yeah. So in the right hand side, this uh, calligraphy is uh, the very important in, in, in China. And progress, uh, and, uh, and for here is uh, uh, the, the characters, uh, uh, the calligraphers uh, uh, become another kind, another style of uh, slave script. And just now we say uh, this, um, this kind of uh, the officer is the uh, characters in China. So we can see the, uh, this, Characters are very interesting. At uh, uh, that time, as they created this uh, style, and they absorbed uh, from the like a uh, silk, silk worm and uh, the head, and the tail as uh, maybe from the wire goose. So uh, looks uh, very beautiful. Uh, and also uh, in the Han. Dynasty, the wood building is uh, uh, the style. Uh, also, the evil, uh, the same as the uh, character. And later, so they, we, we found a, a, a Wei Dynasty, uh, we found a lot of the monument. And that time, the Calligraphy is uh, very strong, and, uh, and the the characters are very thick and strong. 
and then go to the about Tang uh, Dynasty, uh, the very good uh, the regular script and appear. And in Tang Dynasty is uh, very important uh, for the regular script. And man, how how many many great uh, calligraphers is uh, uh, born in this period. And this one, this collector is uh, Ouyang Xun. Ouyang Xun is the uh, earlier Tang dynasty, is a very important guy, is a uh, um, uh, very known uh, in Chinese collector uh, uh, history. Yeah. You can see this this one as uh, actually the, the first uh, regular script uh, calligrapher is a uh, Zhong Yao. It's about uh, 150 AD. Uh, of, but later in Tang, as uh, all the guys uh, follow him and uh, created the, the different uh, uh, regular script. So the earlier Tang as uh, Ouyang Xun, in the middle Tang <clears throat> as uh, Yan Zhen Qing, and the late, it, it, at the later, uh, at the end of the Tang uh, dynasty, the Liu Gongquan. So, and this is three guys of uh, the quite famous uh, in, in the uh, history of uh, electric. Yeah. And later so, uh, appears uh, the uh, different styles, it's a running script. And why uh, they appear this uh, style? Because uh, before like John uh, uh, styles, uh, the writing is very slow. And, and later they, the business is more and more business, uh, they are very busy. So they had to writing as fast and more fast, fast, so that the characters uh, change a little uh, and affect the difference from before. <clears throat> so the famous guys have included Su Dongpo, I think as uh, some uh, many Western uh, people know him and and this one is uh, in Ming Dynasty, uh, Wen Zhenmin, and also in uh, the running uh, scripts, it's a very known uh, collector. And included in, in the Ming and uh, period, uh, Dong Qi Tang. Dong Qi Tang is uh, quite famous uh, in Western uh, uh, people. Uh, because it's, I always uh, saw him his uh, original works in the museum, and the the other uh, styles, the uh, cursive script, uh, that's a uh, like a running white, uh, so fast uh, writing, so for. For the people, if you don't study the calligraphy of Chinese, uh, you totally don't understand what they writing. <laughs> so <clears throat> the calligraphy looks like an abstract painting, actually. Uh, so this, uh, we, we had to uh, learning the history of the uh, calligraphy of, the, of China that can uh, slowly you can understand it. And the CRISPR scripts have the three stages. Uh, and just now uh, I say, uh, before the John styles, uh, if you rise very slow, uh, every day uh, the officer, uh, they got the report to the emperor. Uh, he he spent a lot of time for writing. And so the, some officers 
want to uh, quickly uh, they use uh, the like uh, running uh, uh, script. So uh, the first one is uh, we call Zhang Chao, uh, and the middle one is Jin Chao. It's um, more and more fast. And then later is uh, the Kuang Chao, just that means uh, very fast. Because we have these three stages that later become our arts, uh, they, the people found Oh, that's a very interesting. Oh, we can see the rhythm and the, the characters, uh, some characters are big and some characters are small and some is sort of thick and thin. So, uh, so aesthetics, uh, they say, oh, that's a very beautiful. So become uh, art and later. And in the history of the uh, calligraphers, uh, the most in, most in, uh, important guys, uh, the Wang Xizhi. Uh, so uh, here uh, I have to talk about uh, Wang Xizhi. He is the most important calligrapher, like the uh, thing of the uh, calligraphy. He is good at the uh, regular script running and inclusive. Uh, include the uh, literature and the poetry. Uh, he influenced uh, the calligraphers of Tang, Song, Yuan, Ming, and Qing dynasty, even to modern time. So this, uh, this guy is so important in the history of the calligraphy. <clears throat> He born in the Jin Dynasty about 300. Okay, we can see the period he living. And legends, and it is the only one original piece in the world, now collecting in the Taipei National Palace uh, Museum. And, and about a few years ago, uh, the museum that they display this exhibit, uh, this original uh, to the public. So I fly to the uh, Taipei, uh, the museum for the look at this one. And only one time uh, since they collected uh, over many, many years. Uh, this one is uh, very, very, uh, how to say, it's very important. Yeah, only one, uh, the original of Wang Xizhi. <clears throat> the contains, uh, you can see us uh, about talking about the normal things, uh, not so important, but the writing is very important. And now uh, we have only the copying is uh, from the uh, uh, the tablets uh, maybe. Uh, so for Wang Xizhi, uh, the only the brush stroke uh, we can see only on the tablets, on the topping, the wrapping. Yeah, uh, it's uh, the regular and running and cursive. Yeah, by Wang Xizhi. And later, all most uh, calligrapher and later dynasty, uh, the, they learned from him. Yeah. And here, uh, I introduced the three running scripts in the history of the calligrapher, calligraphy. Yeah. And Actually, the running script is the really uh, important for the calligrapher because uh, we can see the, the 
artist so the life uh, uh, and the motion and uh, the collector uh, so the first one uh, the number one is the Wang Shizhi, the Lanting uh, Rainbow. And this one uh, is a discreet uh, Wang Shizhi and his friends uh, party in, in, in the countryside. And, and that time is uh, uh, recorded, that time the weather is uh, how good and it's uh, so comfortable and they talk to each other and pray or something. Yeah, and they write a poetry or, yeah. But this one is so uh, very important. Uh, but unfortunately, the originals uh, destroy, I think, already. Uh, or someone say uh, the original piece was uh, placed in the tomb <laughs> as the uh, Foundatory items uh, when the emperor uh, Tang Tai Zhong and of in, in Dan, uh, dynasty when he died. So now we don't know the originals where this go. Yeah, this is the cupping. Uh, the people say this is the the cup maybe the exactly like the cupping. Yeah. The second one is the Yan Zhen Qing. Uh, and this one is uh, uh, the, for the second uh, running script uh, number one in the history. Uh, uh, we can see as uh, many uh, somewhere uh, uh, collect, collecting because uh, uh, in that time, uh, Yan Zhen Qing is uh, very sad uh, because uh, his younger brothers died in the fighting. So uh, he write his uh, uh, something uh, so wrong. So he uh, had to correct him. So, uh, but it's a very natural. It looks uh, that's a very important uh, for the running script telegraphy. Uh, the third one is a Su Dong Po by yeah by Su Dong Po. This uh, this uh, describing him was the fourth uh, accused uh, of him. So uh, he said he very sad that when uh, in this motion. So uh, this three uh, Calligraphy uh, running script is uh, really important in the history of uh, calligraphy in China. Okay, and just now we just uh, go through the uh, the history of the uh, uh, calligraphy in China, and this part and uh, I introduce my calligraphy and all and the artwork. Uh, my other career from, uh, I think actually it's from uh, 1970 to now, uh, over 50 years old. And the calligraphy is uh, actually is my side job, uh, but uh, I always, uh, uh, if I have time, is, uh, I will be holding a brush and uh, writing something. <laughs> About 1978, I Copying from the mirror of the uh, Yongluo Gong in Shanxi province, uh, and that time I want to training the line with the brush. Oh, uh, uh, that's a uh, very good for uh, understanding the the spirit of the Chinese traditional art. Okay, this is my uh, studios of. Uh, uh, for calligraphy. Uh, in the studio, uh, always uh, in Chinese, uh, in China, we, have, we always say uh, we have 
four treasures in in there uh brush ink paper and ink stone and each studio they have to uh set down this the uh, things uh another says seal the seal is have two kind of seals uh, uh after uh finished the calligraphy uh we had to seal uh, on the on the bottom or something somewhere uh the, we have two kinds the contain. So one is the name of the collection. Uh, one is the the, the describe the uh, maybe the the theme to match the the contain of the uh, calligraphy. Calligraphy, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so here I show uh, you the how to hold the brush. Ah, here are such a three way to hold the, the Chinese brush. Uh, the first, the first one, uh, use the middle finger with the thumb and hold it, and then nice this way, and then you can turn uh, right. And the second. Hold the brush away like this, like that, and hold up the can. Like this way. And the third way, you can hold the end of the pen uh, like this. And why we, uh, we can uh, Use the different way just to depend on so what kind of uh, character we write. So, like this way, and you hold on the table, uh, that would be very stable of uh, writing. It's uh, very stable. But, like this way, as the uh, uh, the same. But if you use like this way, hold the end of the brush, yeah, that will be uh, very free and like this. So it doesn't depend on uh, what kind of character we write. So normally, uh, we just use uh, this way, the most people like this way. Okay. 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 And um, study the calligraphy the step by step. Uh, we can see and the first uh, copying from the Asian book of uh, Robin and seeing a lot of and re reading and uh, the calligraphy books. Uh, the different uh, style, different uh, calligraphers, so, yeah, and practice a lot. I think that's uh, the ton of the papers uh, we, we need to uh, practice. <laughs> whatever, whatever uh, any kind of the paper, okay? And writing from uh, simple to complicated, yeah. And the style may be like, and the start from regular and the way John and uh, slaver running and cruise. And all, of course, uh, we, we, we need to find a good uh, teachers. Yeah. Uh, and then we had to analyze um, what kind of calligraphy is good or bad. <clears throat> so, yeah, because uh, we had to uh, make a judgment. Uh, otherwise, uh, we cannot make the progress. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> and then freedom, uh, your writing. And for the beginning, and uh, I, I 
uh, study the Chinese uh, traditional paintings. Uh, that's a for prefix the light, which the brush could express the volume of image. Uh, because uh, the, the Chinese painting is uh, much different from the Western uh, drawing. And because the drawing uh, with the shadow, uh, but in China, Chinese paintings, uh, no shadows uh, for the volume of the image. They only use the light, the changing the light. Uh, some is uh, thin, some is uh, thick, strong, or soft, and uh, express the warm of the image. Yeah. And included uh, brush, the ink, and with the color uh, on the rice paper. Uh, the rice paper is the particular papers in. in in, in the world so, because uh, the rice paper absorbs the water. Uh, so very difficult to control uh, for painting. <clears throat> but the effect is uh, very special. Okay, uh, we need to uh, copy uh, the book of uh, Robin. Uh, we had to uh, looking for the good uh, rubbing uh, for copy, okay, <clears throat> for the uh, beginner. Uh, fortunately, I have some original uh, rubbing. Uh, I can see the, uh, the exactly like, uh, <clears throat> so that's a very good for study. Uh, collectively. And here uh, I show you uh, the very important character, Yong. Yong is uh, include uh, all the brush strokes uh, in collectively. So why is uh, uh, the, the teachers uh, recommended the students uh, writing the Yong and for the Stars uh, study collectively. Uh, the young also include the uh, eight methods, okay, and pawn and horizontal stroke and uh, vertical stroke and uh, hope, or up stroke or down stroke or something like this. Okay, uh, I show the video already. I think the character block, that is the best one for starting to practice because it's strong. It's a classic stone. Basically, uh, characters you know, include all stones in Chinese characters. Whatever how complicated the character's stone is, um, and only the structure difference. So, character you know, is very important for the beginner to exercise. Okay, and uh, I demonstrated how to write in the yong. Okay, I show how to write the character yong. Yong is the uh, eight rough stroke. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, at the after 
our finisher, we have to sign the name. Finisher. Sign him. Oh, usually we sign it with a small brush. Because I mean, the whole is just more than the main service. Okay, and it's done like this and um, show. Okay. okay. And uh, here I show the uh, before I am copying so from the uh, regular scripts. Uh, uh, the very uh, series uh, and uh, very clear, the process short and uh, very stable. And so, and then copies uh, the seal script. Uh, and this is uh, from this uh, storm, storm, the drum, the drum, because uh, this one is a very strong. Uh, the characters we can see every character's uh, uh, the connection is uh, very good, uh, and then the Sao Zhuan is uh, a little bit different from and the big Zhuan, and then slave script, and the way script. And this one is uh, also uh, can understanding the how to uh, make the character strong. Yeah. And then the running script. And cursive script. And copying the, the master of masterpiece, uh, yes. Uh, uh, for example, like this one by Huai Su. Huai Su is the very famous, uh, very top of the, uh, for the, for this uh, style, yeah. <clears throat> and then uh, we need to uh, practice a lot at the beginning and uh, quality is very important for uh, study the uh, collective. And then you can see the quality is uh, change and uh, slowly, yeah. And exercise uh, by the different papers uh, or brush or pen, uh, even pen, uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, if you have time and you can uh, rise in pen or brush, it doesn't matter. And you can take the, any papers. Uh, I include some uh, package box uh, or bag or something. Uh, <clears throat> and study the balance. Uh, the, because the balance is very important now. Uh, uh, how to uh, make the the volumes uh, vertical. So we have to uh, practice a lot. Uh, can control, yeah. <clears throat> and the different styles, yeah. The slave script, yeah. <clears throat> And here uh, we can compare the, the, the characters uh, good or not good. Uh, in, in Chinese uh, characters are uh, really interesting. So if you're writing uh, the characters, uh, uh, we had to understanding uh, what the shape of the characters. 
Uh, so usually, uh, if you feel the character is good, uh, maybe the, uh, it can uh, show <clears throat> the, the different structure. So like a left, left uh, characters uh, uh, looks good uh, than the right side at the same character, but uh, looks uh, different. Uh, the left side is more rectangles uh, and uh, the, have the, uh, the feet uh, on the bottom, but the right side is uh, just uh, mm, very easy. So that's uh, not so good. And another one is uh, like this, for example, and the uh, left side is uh, compact. <clears throat> it's uh, very close. And the right side is uh, separate. The, so it looks uh, not so good. <clears throat> and here uh, we have the uh, where the principle Oh, on the top, uh, two characters are the same, but uh, the left side is uh, weak, looks weak, and the right side is strong. Uh, why? Because uh, all the brush stroke uh, cross uh, the cross, uh, the brush stroke. Uh, uh, we had to uh, stop a little while can uh, connect it strong. So like a wedding point, uh, the much difference. And maybe the left, left side is uh, too fast, uh, the writing. So it looks uh, very weak, okay? <clears throat> the right side is very strong. <clears throat> so this is the principle of the uh, uh, wet, uh, okay? <clears throat> a a lot of on rhythm uh, if you write a many uh, many characters uh, on 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 the a piece of work uh, we can see the left side is good and right side is uh, not good and I try to uh, in computer as uh, change a little bit. Uh, of course, this might work. So I use the same size uh, changing. Uh, so you look so like flat, you know the rhythm. Uh, the left side is the originals. Uh, we can see the rhythm is uh, somewhere as uh, bigger and the small or uh, some is a thick and some is a thing. So that will be the, uh, the much difference. Uh, <clears throat> so the collective is a white, uh, sleek, too smooth and average and out of control. Uh, that should be the good one that should be a square, tall, and rhythm and clumsy, okay? <clears throat> Don't too small, smooth. This is the best sample. As, uh, we look uh, very fast and shackled and too smooth. So that's not so good for the collective. <clears throat> and this part also uh, introduced my uh, calligraphy and the right side is Lu uh, Yi, the Chinese Lu uh, Yi, that means uh, wishes, the, give the best wishes, that means. That's my writing. Uh, I write the uh, scriptures and use the regular uh, script. A, the, the meaning is that relaxed to practice uh, this, this work. 
uh, I use the uh, running script. Uh, the meaning is uh, the pistol. Uh, so we can see the first one is a uh, stronger, bigger, uh, the ink is uh, very strong. And the second one is uh, more like a nice uh, thing. And we, we control the, the rhythm of the, uh, the whole world. And the principle is same as like this, and uh, the the meaning is uh, the read Asian more Asian books to find the truth and put aside the troubles uh, to be as easy. So that is, that's means the meaning of this work. And so uh, I we can see the. Uh, the brush stroke is uh, changing a lot. And the first one, uh, and another one is sometimes uh, the much different the size. Yeah. So sometimes, uh, oh, oh, we, although so the, uh, we, we don't understand it, but now we can look at the, the, uh, the word is uh, like an uh, abstract. Uh, nice. And this one, uh, the meaning is uh, you can go anywhere you want to go. Oh, okay. Uh, also, the running style. Uh, the the meaning is a uh, uh, recognized T. Uh, always uh, the people uh, display uh, or hand this uh, calligraphy is uh, in the tea room or something or yeah. This a slave uh, uh no this a John style uh, this is the biggest calligraphy of me uh. The meaning is the honest can be succeed. The meaning is the water is no fragrance. Uh, that means uh, we, if we, if we, if we uh, like uh, with the uh, Make a friend is uh, very clear. Uh, we don't want to get another things uh, from uh, your friend or something. <laughs> natural, uh, natural, nature, yeah, nature. A running script, yeah. <clears throat> Jason, I'm yeah. gonna. Uh, we've got about a minute left, okay. so. I don't know if you would like to show some of your work that's in the uh, gallery. Okay, uh, we just go through and uh, at the end. Okay. Okay. Okay, and uh, at the at the end, uh, about uh, talking about my uh, contemporary art, uh, the oil paintings uh, in uh, nineteen eighty five. Uh, this is uh, collected by National Art Museum of China in nineteen eighty five. Also, uh, yeah, collecting by. There's no art museum of China. Uh, this is a very big uh, oil painting, uh, three meter by eight meter, two meter by two meter, 
and I expressed in a Clement Graduate University in Los Angeles, USA, uh, 2016. And the exhibitions, yeah. The background is my painting. Uh, I lectured and taught in a uh, Clement uh, graduate uh, university and Cal State Fulton. Uh, at last, uh, my personal exhibitions uh, in China and just a few months ago are. Uh, Okay, that's uh, the last one <laughs> at the end. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah. I, I hated to stop you, Jason, with, <laughs> with this. So interesting. Yeah, the time is ever, yeah. I know, there's never enough time. It's what a beautiful uh, integration of the history and also has you, talk about your own work and even the work sculpturally as we're seeing the last slide that is on the PowerPoint is the calligraphy integrating with your sculptural work as well. So I think it's very interesting this to see that. I just had, a, I, I have so many questions but we don't have enough time but I did have one question with this. When you when you're using the different styles of calligraphy, and I understand you, you um, have to study all those different ones to really be a master, to master the calligraphy. Do you feel like the last one, this kind of running wild one, that you get to that, that style only after you've mastered all the others? So the wildest one, <laughs> The regular one you start with and you end with the wildest one because you have the control at that point and the looseness um, in harmony. The regular one, we, for all the, the beginners, uh, we had to uh, uh, master the skill. The, because of this is uh, a very good the foundation for the calligraphy uh, the calligraphers. Uh, uh, we had to step by step, uh, and and the uh, letters uh, you can freeze uh, your style. So we had to uh, learn the, the regular, yeah. Right, and you get more inventive. I felt like as you went up the brush, you oh, were, yeah. were in harmony with the brush, and you're letting the brush kind of guide uh, you as yeah. well. You know, that's I but felt like that was for yeah. the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, if you're writing the big one, uh, you have to uh, uh, holding the brush uh, in the end of the brush and uh, can free your hands. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's it's a very much of a dance and a breath, I think. So it's really beautiful to see that. And I was lucky enough to see it in person when we were in China. So I want to thank you for that. It was quite an extraordinary experience. Well, we're just about out of time, and I am sorry to say that. I don't know if we have any questions from, um, ah, we have one question, which I think is a good one. Could you recommend, this is from the audience, could you recommend oh. any good calligrapher, calligraphy tutors in Boston or New York? I might reach out to you, May, for that. <laughs> um, would it be possible to study with you virtually? on Zoom, so that's someone asking that question. They've been practicing calligraphy for 50 years and they say they're still very much an amateur. So I think they're looking for a good tutor. Do you tutor? Oh, uh, okay. Not now? <laughs> <laughs> not right now. It's, uh, I'm, unfortunately, uh, because uh, now so I have no more time for teaching and uh, so, uh, UMA is, uh, I think, can, uh, looking for some good teachers in USA, maybe. <laughs> yeah, Ellen, if you want to reach out to me, Joe Yarrington, um, I'm in the Studio Art program, jayarrington at fairfield.edu. Uh -huh. You okay. may and I are in touch. <laughs> we're also, we're also in an exhibition over in Loyola Hall Gallery, so I'd be happy to rec uh, talk to her and maybe recommend 
uh, some people that would be able to teach the calligraphy, but you know, it's great. It's wonderful with Zoom because you can have have conversations all over the world. So thank you for zooming in from China. And oh, also thank you, you may for <laughs> <laughs> so being present just in case or possible translation. But Jason, very wonderful lecture. Really learned a lot. And thank you so much for spending the time with us and showing us what you do.